Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz, and I'm so excited to share with you guys this recreation that looks exactly like a wall decor piece from Pottery Barn. I have been designing and decorating my new office space. And when looking around online, I found this wall art piece from Pottery Barn and it was beautiful, but really $200 for this was way too much. So I knew that I could easily recreate it. And I thought, I gotta show you guys how I put this together because it's so easy and you can do it as well. So the main element of this piece are all of the slats that you see, and I counted them out. There's 31 of them. I think on my piece, I ended up using 30. So I went to Lowe's and I was looking for boards. I wanted them to be one inch by two inch. So I found these boards, they were 219 a piece. And for each board, I was able to get three slats out of it. So when I got home, I laid my board out and I measured 31 inches and at 31 inches I made a mark and I did that until I got three out of each board and I did this with all of the boards that I was going to cut. Next, I'm going to line up the boards on my miter saw to cut them. With some of the boards, the wood was splitting. And so to correct that, I just slowed down and made sure when I cut it, I did it a lot slower and the boards were splitting a lot less. So I ended up having 30 boards. Next, I'm going to stain each of the boards with a color called Special Walnut by Minia Wax. Now remember in the picture, there was all different levels of stain. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. So with some of my boards, I'm gonna stain the whole thing. Some I may stain half of it. Some I might just stain a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of do a variation so that when I put all the boards together, I can kind of pick and choose and mix them around. Now, once I got the board stained, I felt like it was a little darker than I wanted it to be. And honestly, I wish I would have picked a lighter, more oak style stain. So what I did to make it look more like I was hoping it would be, was I just came in and I sanded the edges and I sanded over the top. So what this did was just bring the wood back so that I kind of had that lighter wood look. So in the end, I was okay with the color. So now I need to go through and paint the other sides of my board. So I just took some painter's tape and I put it so that it was covering the stain area where I was going to paint with the black color. I'm gonna use Ink by Waverly to paint my boards. And you don't have to paint the sides because they're going to be put together pretty well. So all I'm going to be doing is painting the top and the bottom of my boards. So how much you paint on the black is just going to depend on what you did for the stain. So if you have a board that was stained mostly, you'll just have a little bit of black. You just wanna make sure that when you're finished with your boards, you have a good variety. Now I removed my tape right away. I didn't let it sit on there and it was just peeled off really easily. So I put together a simple frame based on how long my 30 boards put together was. And I just cut the boards and I screwed them together so I would have a base to put my boards on. So the first thing I did was lay my boards out in an alternating pattern. You want to do this first before you glue anything down to make sure that you really kind of look at it and see if it's the way you want it. You can always make changes. Oh. 
Once I got all 30 boards laid out, I took a picture of it because sometimes when I see something in a photograph, it gives me an indication of what I need to change. I don't know, it's just something how my brain works, but you can do this however you want. And I did move a couple of boards after taking a picture of it. Now I bought the most heavy strength wood glue that I could find for this project. I'm gonna start on one side and I'm actually gonna add a really generous amount of wood glue. It ended up kind of coming out on the sides and the bottom, but I didn't mind because I wanted them to have quite a bit of wood glue. And I worked my way down adding wood glue to all of the 30 pieces. Now, once you're done adding your wood glue, you wanna make sure that your boards are nice and even before it dries. So go along the bottom and the top and make sure they just look nice and even. I also stained the edge of my boards because you will see them whenever it's hung up. Now to hang this up, we decided to hang it on a wire. I was envisioning this piece over the top of my couch in my office, and I couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. Now, if you recreate this piece or any other piece, you guys have to join my Facebook group. The name of my Facebook group is just Liz Fenwick DIY. Go over to Facebook and join our group. I think we have over 19 or 20,000 members who post their recreations or things they're creating in their home. So it's definitely a fun group to be a part of. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. I post two DIYs each week. And if you missed our last one, I'll link it here for you. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.